All right, here we are. This one right here has the unlock diffs in it now. I put that in the four-wheel drive one, so let's see how much worse this one is now off road. Just rain too, so it's a little bit more packed than the first time you guys saw me out here. Oh, there you go. Had to full throttle right there to get out of that. No more drifties. Got your throttle right and steering. Okay, you can still pull some of these things right there. Alright, so now what we came here for the four-wheel drive. Alright, here we go. Now the lifted one right here, as you can tell. I have some camber correction to do right there. And the rear one was a simple, you know, put the axle upside down or below the leafs. And there's my four-wheel drive. And I have the solid rear axles from the other one on this guy. Let's go for it. Well, let me just go ahead and put it in the highest rates already because I just like to drive it that way. Little bit of bashing in the beginning for you guys right there. And let's start. I'm driving a lot more controlled now. Sorry for my phone right there. It's definitely a lot more controlled now. I went off track, I don't know why. I'm trying to show off a little bit here. Showing you guys that you can do more things. Instead of going down over here, let's continue on to the rest of stuff. Let's see what it can do. A little bit of flexing right here. Or oh, trying to stop there. There you go. A little bit of flex for you guys. Pretty decent for this guy. I'm pretty impressed actually with the performance game. Oh, a little bit stuck. There you go. The lock got me out of there. Needed a full throttle right there, not enough power. Maybe a different ESC receiver combo or you know something more powerful. Not even the lift, just having the lock rear, I believe, does this already. You can find some stuff here. Rocky climb. Oh, we're gonna have to pull throttle. And there you go. The performance is definitely more than doubled. Oh, that was my first rollover ever. Thank you, Rock. Yeah, definitely made this thing a little bit more fun for sure. Without too much mom. 
and of course we'll cut into what I did to lift the front because the rear is obviously more obvious than the front. It's not as obvious, but it's very simple once it's here. Trying to do some raw camber stuff right here, you know, testing the limits. There you go guys. All right, so let's check this bad boy out. Check this out. I switched the bodies around because I do like this body a little bit better. You know, just a more simpler truck. But of course, if you like all the rugged stuff right here, then this is a pretty nice body as well because you have the snorkel right there and the rear lights right there. But this right here just looks classic right here. So I switched the bodies around because it's easier to tell right here now that I have this body on here, how the stock height sits compared to a, a lifted one right here. So, yep, pretty simple lift. I'll show you guys how I did it. So the rear right here, you can tell I just moved the axle below the leaf springs and I removed the two plastic leaves. It's just a leaf spring mounted straight onto the axle right there. And that's how you get that lift on the rear. Now for the front, I'm gonna have to take this wheel off to show you a little bit better what I did, but it's very simple. And if you have any KM kits sitting around for any of your WPLs, then you can do this easily as well. Before I continue on, I wanna show you guys that angle of that axle right there it's pretty steep haven't damaged it yet but that is a very steep angle and it still runs pretty smooth even at that angle surprisingly but yeah just wanted to note that that's a pretty pretty big angle right there and this is a pretty decent independent front suspension lift and we'll see how long that lasts but yeah here we go that's all I did right there I just put another ball on top of that ball and then screwed it in. This ball and link right here are from a KM kit, a WPL KM kit. And if you have KM kits, you usually get a lot of spares of these, like, you know, one or two or three of them. But I have a couple laying around and that's what I did. That's why I don't have a link to where to get these. I'm not sure if you can just get these from WPL, but I would check their site if I were you. I got the link in the description below for these trucks and everything you can get for WPLs are gonna be in that website. If you were gonna use bigger wheels than this, then you can even do this same thing to your steering to correct the steering angle right here it will, it will make your steering a little bit better but if not it still works pretty good as you guys saw in my video not too shabby so there you go simple little mod you know, don't want to take more of your time but that's about it for this guy right here the two-wheel drive is now an open rear axle and as you guys seen it didn't handle too bad actually and you know street truck maybe right here just a scale little nice truck to mess around with or maybe romp it around Baja style you're probably gonna to wanna to correct this camber right here. And the way to do that is to bend these right here. But I would like lengthen it a little bit more and kind of bend them into like this of a shape, kind of like the shape of the lower arms until you get this to be at the adjustment you want. Because if you don't bend these and you just move this in and out, you, you can correct the camber, but you're gonna limit your travel because this ball right here has a certain amount of travel. It has up and down wise. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but yeah. Well, there you guys go. The two new WPLs right here, pretty sweet little D series WPLs. And can I recommend them for the body? Yes, if you like the scaleness, yes. And uh, the chassis wise though, if you're into you know the D series stuff, then yeah, sure. Me, I'm more into the C series stuff and I would like to try to fit one of these bodies into a C series maybe. Let's see how that goes. But for now, that's my mod right there. Pretty cool, I do enjoy it. And as you can tell, it was fun to drive. And I do have some fun with these right here. So yeah, check them out. And as always, thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and go have fun and run that RCE.